Alright, today I'm going to be going over Master Data Management, or MDM, in Microsoft Dynamics AX. Alright, so I'm going to start off and just uh, talk about what Master Data Management is. Then we're going to talk about how it's implemented in AX, talk about some of the setup required, and then how it goes into the data import export framework. So master data management is data that is going to be shared across all your systems in your entire company. So basically what people refer to this is as the one source of truth. So we know that the master data is always going to be the correct information it's going to be the information that everyone's going to build off of and it is kind of the the higher the highest up on the hierarchy of information so we want to keep this data clean and pure so that we can always reference back to the master data whenever there's a discrepancy in naming conventions or anything like that uh, the type of information that this is going to be is uh, non-transactional information and information that's not going to change all the time so this would be stuff like people's names addresses uh, your product names and your locations so you kinda set these up the first time and they're correct and these are what you're going to keep so master data management it builds on top of um, the data import export framework that was shipped in release to. Uh, it's basically just an extension of that. It builds on those ideas and kind of takes it one step further. Um, so if you know how to use your data import exports framework, this is just a little extra step that's going to help you out. <coughs> um, basically what it does is it takes all your instances of AX and it's going to synchronize them up and we're going to take that master data that set up in your system and make sure that every instance is using that data so we don't have a user come in and you know change someone's last name and then now their naming conventions off we're gonna make sure it's all the same uh, how it does this in AX is the master data management uses the SQL server as your master document so it's going to take all the information uploaded into SQL Server. SQL Server is going to hold that information there, and everything's going to draw off of that SQL Server document. Um, it goes by using a hub and spoke rela relationship. So what that means is the SQL Server is kind of your hub of a wheel, and all the spokes that come off of it are the different instances. So all the instances will funnel back into the hub, make sure, and then the hub will shoot the information back to the uh, the spokes. Uh, here is a little uh, image on kind of how it works. So you're going to start off in your uh, Dynamics AX Instant 1 in the Data Import Export Framework. So what would happen is if you go in and you change something in the global address book, it's going to take that information, go shoot it into the import-export job, throw it in the staging table just like it would normally do if you were updating something. And then here's where the master data management comes into. It takes the information from the staging table and translates it back into the SQL Server master data. And um, once your information hits that master data, it's going to say, oh, okay, this is the, the master stuff. Let me shoot it back to all the other instances. So that's kind of where you see that hub and spoke. You, you throw your information in, takes it to the master records, and then the master record will disperse it back to all the other instances. So now for the setup of master data management. Uh, first, you want to make sure you have the latest version of AX and SQL Server because this is a new um, new for both of those versions and they both need to have the master data management uh, service installed and updated. 
Uh, once you have those updated, there is a way to connect AX with the SQL Server so it knows what to look for, where to go, and where to dump the information. Um, and then you can determine what people can write the data so you can have every single instance to be able to write information and that will upload it or you can have just one instance um, be able to write the information so only you can only change that master data from one specific instance so that can you know make it so you can give people permission and not permission to update that master list um, and you can pick which specific data is going to be in the master data, uh, how it's going to be pulled, how, when it's going to be pushed, if you want to do it, you know, every couple minutes, every day, you can set that all up. Um, and I also have a link down here which goes into more detail of kind of the technical side of how to update your SQL Server in AX. So when we look at uh, AX, we go to the Data Import Export Framework section. There is this new area over here that is Master Data Management. Uh, the first thing you're going to need to do is go to the Configure SQL Server Master Data Services connection, and it'll bring up this screen here. And basically, what this does is this is going to direct you to the SQL Server. So you're going to put in your server information, your endpoint information, and that will, you know, tell AX where to go to to get to this master data in the SQL Server. The next thing you're going to do once that's set up is you're going to your manage synchronization, and this is basically where everything's going to be set up in here. So you create your new configuration group. And once you're in here, you would go to Entities. Uh, that's where you would pick what data you want to upload and to download. Um, you can set up your schedule to synchronize. And it's also going to show you any conflicts. So if there was someone who, if you have two names at the same address, but one says uh, Mr. Jones and the other said Mr. Joneses, you know, it would say, hey, these two are probably, you're trying to say the same thing here, but they have a different last name. What do you want to do? And that's where you would go in and update it and make sure they're all similar. Um, so once this is set up, uh, you, you would use your data import export like usual to import any Excel documents or move stuff over. Um, Yeah, so uh, the master data management then is going to automatically run based on your service you set up. It's going to back up anything that um, you use by using the data import export on your SQL server, check for conflicts, um, and all that stuff. So basically what you have is you're running it as the same, but you're backing it up to a different area and that's going to check all your instances, make sure that they're, you know, working with each other and similar, and if you have any problems. Uh, here's a few additional resources if you like more information. We've got the TechNet overview of it, um, some blogs that have specific scenarios where they run through, and then the data import export um, user guide on what types of things you can import and export.